How long have you been uh, atop the transport center? I have a two o'clock at five. I came up in the darkness. Early uh, morning, dawn. Early morning. And it's dawn. Now, it's now mid morning. So you have been there for at least three, four hours. Yes. Right? Yes, sir. She poppy 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 pop kepasa sak pa say what they do. Welcome to Crime Time News where the difference is in the meds. Call it news with a buzz. Jamaica is like a Netflix series. There is never a dull day in Jamaica. Breaking news, breaking news. It is said that this man that some people say is a firefighter. He climbed that high arc at the transport center in a half a tree. And he is making some sorts of speech. He is literally going out on a limb defending the plight of the firemen and defending himself. Based on information that I got, it is said that this man was also suspended don't know if this individual was suspended for standing up for his rights. However, this man is actually walking in here. Based on that little ledge on that arc atop of the transport center, this man must have some sorts of fireman skills. This man must be some sorts of acrobat or he mixed with some sorts of M-O-N-K-E-Y or him obia strong. I am going to let you take a listen, take a look to the edited version of the video to hear what he has to say. I have other videos, but because of YouTube's policy, I will not show them. I am going to put them in my WhatsApp group, phone number 894-2711. You want a fireman video? Leave your name. Do not call an evil wasara. Don't video call. Take a listen, take a look to this beautiful bean footage. Good morning. Daybreak at the top of the half a tree a transport center. Highlighting the need for welfare for the firefighters. No retreat. No surrender. We need a better Jamaica. No retreat. No surrender. Welfare for the firefighters. Better Jamaica. Now people, I am assuming that this man is actually a fireman because he has the uniform. He is up there with a Jamaican flag wrapped around his head. He is being patriotic. You heard the speech. He wants a better Jamaica. I would say that there's been all sorts of bargaining thing as it pertains to the government finance minister, teacher, poor, poor, fireman. Everybody is disgruntled. So it's either this man is a fireman or this man brain pretty much fired up. That means that him depends something. It only shows you the type of extreme in which persons are ready and eager to go to get their point across. Now remember, this man is putting his life at risk. This man, one slip, he could fall. But remember, this man more than likely is trained. This man knows the art of tight roping, walking upon some sorts of high-rise building. So therefore, he is not phased. But anything can happen. Hopefully, whatever he is standing up for or climbing for, he will get his required or desired result. Point blank and period. Further on in the news. Now we've seen a whole bunch of videos all over social media. That involves mostly our one specific person. I heart Marnie. He is somebody that is popular on social media. However, it seems as if. Every day he does what he does and gets away with it. The further he pushes the envelope, the pranks become more dangerous, more risk of life, more people getting scared, traumatized. However, it seems as if he won't stop 
until somebody lose their life or until he loses his life or both. So people, I am going to let you take a listen. Take a look to what the JCF has to say about this pranking stuff and then I'll give my piece. The Jamaica Constabulary Force is aware of an increase in pranking activities by some social media influencers. In keeping with the JCF's mission statement to maintain law and order, protect life and property, prevent and detect crime, and preserve the peace, we use this medium to inform these pranksters that they are to be mindful of legal ramifications stemming from these practices, especially if they result in loss, death, or injury of other members of the society. These behaviors are not only dangerous, reckless, and inconsiderate practices, but also puts the prankster at risk. Firstly, let us address whether pranking constitutes an offense. Loosely, pranking is a mischievous act or joke played on someone. The circumstances of the prank will determine whether it can be viewed as an offense once reported and a range of offenses may be committed. It should also be noted that in circumstances where a report is made and the police have expended resources to investigate a matter that turns out to be a prank, charges can be laid for creating public mischief. Now people, as one social media personality, to I heart Marnie or whomever else is involved in such buffoonery. This is constructive criticism. My intention is not to bring you down. However, you have gotten carried away with your acts. Don't know if this is some sort of pursuit of fame or likes or share whatever your main objective is. But the fact is that it is very insensitive. The fact is that we live in a very dangerous society called Jamaica. People are getting robbed. People are getting hurt. People are even losing their life. What might start out as exactly what you are doing, a joke, which is not a joke when people get R-O-B-B-E-D. Don't know if you've spoken to anybody that is a victim. However, it is obvious that you have not. Or even if you did, whatever they told you, whatever details they gave you and told you, how traumatized they have been since then, how paranoid they've become since that episode or incident then if you were a reasonable person were not a selfish person were not in for self gratification or fame you would have known that maybe this is not right i am sure that when you are doing it it does not feel right however you are riding this wave a wave of buffoonery because we know say, we have something out there named jackass. Some people that got very famous for doing D-U-M-B stuff. So therefore, you want to be the Jamaican version of that same thing. However, these persons were putting their own lives in jeopardy. That was not prank. That was doing some foolish stuff. But you now... Don't realize that whenever you go to somebody that is taking money out of their ATM and then you act like you have some sorts of tool and you are serious in the way that you look, the expression upon your face, these people see you. These people are saying to themselves, based on what they've heard on the news, based on other person's experience, them people are wonder if this is it. These people are wondering, what about my pitney? What about my mother? What about my father? What is going to happen to me? Is this it? So even though after at the end it was a joke, according to you, these people went through a very traumatic episode. 
These people can have some sort of heart a t t a c k. These people can faint upon the spot. These people might have nightmares. And people, I don't know who are these persons that are encouraging these people, but obviously they have an audience. Obviously, this tells you about this generation, new generation. They are very immoral. They have no sorts of respect for nobody but themselves. They are very self-centered. There's a thing that is called, what is joke to you, is D-E-A-T-H to the next person. I have seen many episodes in which them frighten people, people run for them life. However, I have seen a couple of episodes in which these people get frazzled out talking about I heart arm, I heart money, I wave I'm name. People run them down with all sorts of K-N-I-F-E, kitchen utensil, farm utensil, and they are lucky to escape with their life. So I have to ask the question, is fame that important? And yes, you are famous because a whole lot of people know you. However, it is more infamous than famous. Infamous is when you do something that there is no sort of respect on. Famous is when you do something that entertains and does not put people life and wealth in jeopardy. People, something is wrong with these people and until somebody loses them life or until it gets to the extreme where they actually get charged, get arrested and get time, they won't stop. It seems as if they are riding a wave. This wave of buffoonery will not stop until somebody gets stopped either by the big yard or the G-R-A-V-E yard. Point blank and period. So anyways people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like this, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like this to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. Bless up.